Hello y'all, welcome back. Guess what? Yeah, you probably guessed it. I'm a daddy. It's been a while since I've made one of these videos where I just kind of update you guys, just kind of vent a little bit. I figured this is the perfect time. I've been kind of in the shadows. I've been waiting to hear the great news to have a happy and healthy baby, and we do. And I'll introduce you to her in just a minute. And uh, OSG is doing great here. Sounds like she's hungry. Step outside for a minute so we're not getting the old cries and the whans from little Emery. I really just wanted to update you guys and let you know what's going on after having her home for, this is uh, day two. Wow, life has changed. All y'all parents out there know what I'm talking about. Uh, the lack of sleep thing is for real. It is uh, 100%. So since she came out kicking, me and OSG has basically just been trying to get our feet underneath us and I finally feel like we're doing that. It's tough to find that routine with a firstborn child, you know? We've never been parents. You know, every time she moves or makes this noise, we're like, oh, what's going on? No. Thank the Lord. We live close to my parents. OSG's parents have been up here and just have that help so I can stay doing what I love to do in the outdoors and making great content for you guys. And Stephanie can uh, keep her blog and do all the things that she wants to do and still be parents and be in the great outdoors. Finally feeling like, you know what? I can turn the camera back on. I can start making videos again and just be back to doing what I do, doing what I love, being myself. For a minute there, it was a little dicey. I was like, whoa, man, am I gonna survive this deal? It's the best and most stressful thing all at the same time. But let me just get a few things off my off my mind, off my to-do list, I just haven't done a good job of. I've been just totally focused on baby, making sure she's okay, and I'll continue to do that. It's just really hard for the first few weeks, up to yeah, two months is what I've heard. There is a major Mondo meetup going on at the end of this week. Texas Rangers are giving us the opportunity to come to their house and hang out with you guys. They are big fans of the outdoors. Or they're fans of the Guggen Squad. They want us to come out and bring you guys out with us. You know, this is, whew, there was a mosquito right there. Just whew, smacked it. This is an extra awesome meetup because number one, we're going baseball, fishing, outdoors, all together. You know, I used to play baseball and then I got into fishing and in the outdoors. The last time I was at this small little ballpark that they have next to the Ranger Stadium, I hit couple of homers one being off uh, Roger Clemens's son and then Roger Clemens signed my baseball it was a long time ago but that's the last time I was there playing at the stadium <laughs> say that like I was gonna make it to the big league anyway past life fishing and hunting is my outdoor passion now but one of the reasons this is an extra awesome meetups because favorite fishing is involved favorite fishing not only is favorite huge baseball fans uh, we also sell the MLB uh, rods for all the teams. So if you guys want to get, if you're big MLB fans, you want to get your favorite MLB team's rods, you're getting favorite rods. That's who makes them. That also gave us the opportunity to license some Guggen Squad co-branded Texas Rangers t-shirts. I've already seen them. They're sick. I got to make sure I save one for myself. Those are going to be available to the first 250. So you get a limited edition, 250. That's it. So anyways, it's going to be awesome. You guys make sure to show up there 3 p.m. this Friday, the 21st. First 250, free ticket and a shirt. And if there's more than that, which there probably will be, you can always get a ticket for like 20 bucks. Go watch Seattle versus the Rangers. Get you a hot dog, maybe a little cold beverage, drink responsibly. Just enjoy the sweet sights and sounds of America. So I needed to let you guys know that. And I am also in the middle of this boat right here uh, being traded in, or actually I'm going to sell that boat. It's dark, hang on. So the folks at Skeeter, it's actually fun and sun boats which I've gotten a few of my boats from now. So big shout out to Fun and & Son and Skeeter Boats for, uh, for hooking us up with an awesome rig coming soon, which I will share with you guys. It's gonna be huh, Mac Daddy. And there's a couple videos that I haven't put out yet for you guys. I'm working on right now in between nursing, baby crying and all that. It's just a lot of things happening right now, a lot of shaking up. And so I just wanted to thank you guys for being here for all the videos. And I know the Lake Life Family Channel, which 
Most of the time is run by OSG. I'll be editing some videos this week for it. Basically where a lot of the, uh, the family adventures are gonna take place, all the baby stuff and stuff like that. So if you wanna tune in to that, go over there and subscribe to the channel. I know I'm missing out on something. There's so many things running through my head today that I wanted to get out and tell you guys. For now, let's go check on Emmy. I think she stopped crying. Let's introduce you to my first daughter, the little teaspoon, little river spoon, child. All these names, these acronyms <laughs> that have been giving, given to Emmy. And she's an absolute little cutie. Is it safe up here for video? Hey, baby girl. Somebody sleepy. Mm -hmm. You finally got her down. Well, I think we need to wake her up because the fishing freaks want to see her a little bit. I've been telling them they're going to see her. She's finally here. I feel like you're not supposed to wake a sleeping baby. Though. That's probably true. <laughs> Cutest thing in the world. Hey, sweetheart. Look at that sweet baby girl. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be nice and calm now. You're saving all that poop and that screaming for midnight, aren't you? I was up 2.30 in the morning last night, rocking her for an hour until she finally went to sleep. It's like, you let her go and then she'll just wake right back up and oh man, it's a tough, tough deal being a new parent. But this is our little nursery. This is where we, we bring her in. Usually there's some little soothing sounds. I mean, we got this figured out, I think y'all. Actually, we tone it all. <laughs> Show them the little cricket noises. Oh, this is my favorite part. Look at this. Watch. Crickets. Programmed for the treehouse. Programmed for the treehouse. We got crickets. Yeah, we got, we got birds. Water. And water. That's about all you need. That's the outdoor trio right there. Oh, Maybe a couple of like, you know, rutting deer antlers or something like that. I don't know. Some of you fishing freaks told us to bring this to the hospital. I think it was a saving grace having that thing in the hospital. Yes, we did. And that pink blanket. Oh. Oh, it's in her crib. One of you sent in a a pink soft blanket that said Emery on it. And she loves that thing. <laughs> that has saved us some sleep. So thank you very, very much. And honestly, a lot of the stuff in this nursing room is either suggested by you or sent in by you. So we are fully utilizing everything now. <laughs> All the diapers and everything y'all sent in, holy cow. We're already we, running out. We have an app. How many, how many diapers have we been through? Today, it's been like 12. Today. And we're not well, even I, halfway through. Yeah. I mean, it is just blasting through like I never could have even imagined. But OSG is doing wonderful, as you can see. She she's recovering very nicely <laughs> and I mean up until this point I've had to do a lot of the usual like mommy work because she hasn't been able to bend over she had to have a c-section all that stuff anyway we'll go into more of that on the Lake Life channel but I just want to let you guys know that she's okay I'm okay and most importantly little Emmy is okay can you go grab her we'll keep her in the safe spot where she feels safe she can look out of her window and see all the trees at the tree house. See the little squirrels, see the little animals. She's got the best room in the house. Thing right there, y'all, daggum lifesaver. The diaper genie, amazing. One of the first tournaments I ever fished, there was a bass boat in Louisiana that was wrapped in this product right here. That's Boudreaux's, Boudreaux's butt paste. And what do we have here? She's so sleepy. What do we have here? This is baby Emmy. Say hi to your first camera. Welcome to the world, Emmy. She's <laughs> just looking at She's a little sleepy right now. She is. She kind of goes cross-eyed whenever she's sleepy. But she's, oh. She's starting to open her eyes a little bit. Yeah. She loves her hands. If you take her hands away. She has her mama's hands. I do, we're still trying to figure out like everything that she's she has like is it mine is it hers like what's really going on but there are some things that we can we could definitely tell already 
But she is just the cutest little thing. I think my favorite thing are her lips. Her lips. Yeah, really she's nice. got the cutest little lips. She's got some good lips. Is that a smile? Yeah. Say hi to the fishing freaks, honey. That's right. <laughs> Yep, and she's pretty small right now, but she's she is. she's gonna grow into all these clothes that you guys sent. A lot of them fishing themed. Look at that. <laughs> Daddy's fishing buddy, isn't that cute? There's lots of those. She's seven pounds. She was seven pounds each seven pounder. <laughs> and she was twenty and a quarter inches long, I believe. Yeah, so she's gonna be a little tall. Yeah, so she wasn't quite a share longer. <laughs> but she's a a good old Texas keeper. Aren't you, girl? Mm-hmm. You're a keeper no matter what. Oh, yeah. She's being a little sweetheart right now, so I want to let her sleep, but I want to just let you guys know that we're, we're good. We're okay. I'm going to give, give Mama and her a little space because she, uh, <laughs> she is on that milk like every hour and a half to two hours. <laughs> that is real. What is this? I found a baby thing in the yard. Uh... That looks like a changing situation. That probably has pee on it. I know, guys. She's a super cutie. I feel like I can raise my voice again. I find when you get around babies, you just start you start talking soft because you're scared. You don't want them to start crying and everything. But she's been a great baby so far. She's giving us a little trouble at night. But other than that, she's just a, just a cutie. And I can't wait to see all the little mannerisms and things that she gets from me and Steph. Let her grow up here at the treehouse, y'all, in the great outdoors. What an awesome thing. This is our first time, so we're just learning new things every hour. Every time she does something, moves, makes a sound. So, it should be very entertaining. Here's the other crazy thing for me, y'all, and I will close the video out with this. A year ago, I was in the Amazon jungle fishing for peacock bass. I was thinking about my life a lot because I had been just diagnosed with a brain tumor and I was trying to figure out, you know, what do I do if something doesn't go right with the surgery or, you know, I had, I had faith. I had faith that everything was going to be okay, but you just naturally, you think about those things. That was an amazing trip that really helped me appreciate life more. And I think I really figured a lot of things out there. And now our firstborn is here. So it is just an amazing life moment going from I'm not so sure I'm gonna survive here on that first initial diagnosis to now just having a happy, healthy, gorgeous little girl that she doesn't have any problems or anything that we know of yet, thank God. And for me especially, just having a game changer of a past year to where I appreciate life so much more. And that's one of the reasons I stay so positive. So thanks guys for being here through thick and thin and wish us luck on our new life journey. Make sure to smash the like button for new life. And if y'all want to come see me this weekend, don't forget about the Rangers deal. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can check out more, but I hope to see you there. Don't forget to subscribe right here, hit the ding dongs, and I hope wherever you are, you're having a blessed day like I am. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.